bugs. They're everywhere. From tropical jungles to frozen tundras, from the depths of the earth to the tops of mountains. They thrive on land, but also inhabit fresh water and seas. Found just about everywhere, they fly through the air, tunnel through the earth, and crawl across the ground both day and night. And chickens love them. And many of them make fantastic chicken food. In today's video, we'll go over the benefits of including bugs in your chicken's diet and introduce you to four bugs that are relatively easy to raise at home for your own endless supply of chicken protein. Don't go away. Raising Bugs for Chickens is up next. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We're the Hobby Farm Guys. Steve, Brian, and Eric is doing the heavy lifting behind the scenes. We love to discuss all things Hobby Farm related, especially chickens. Darn right we do. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can always find us when you have questions you need answered. Raising chickens has long been known as an excellent way to curtail the local insect population. Yeah, and not only insects, but other non-insect arthropods like spiders, worms, and centipedes. If it creeps, crawls, or flies, chickens will usually hunt it down and eat it. To simplify things today, we're simply gonna call all the creepy crawlies bugs. And bugs, for the most part, make great chicken food. In addition to allowing your chickens to exhibit natural behaviors like scratching, pecking, and chasing down prey, bugs are often loaded with protein. And protein is the most expensive component of chicken feed, and often the hardest to source when you're trying to produce your own feed in order to reduce reliance on store-bought commercial options. When allowed to free range, chickens will happily hunt down and feast on many of the bugs in your yard and garden. And as they fill their crops and nutritional needs with bugs, their reliance on other feed sources goes down, resulting in a lower feed bill for you. What if you don't have a yard or garden, or can't give your chickens access to it? Or what if your yard and garden is frozen solid and covered in snow for much of the year like ours? How do you keep your chickens healthy and your food bill low? By growing your own. Bugs, that is. Just like you can grow crops indoors for your chickens, so too can you grow some bugs. And the great thing is it takes very little space and only minimal, easy to find equipment. It's not really all that hard. The hardest part is probably overcoming the ick factor of purposefully raising bugs. That's really a first world problem. About 80% of the countries in the world today view and utilize insects as food for humans. And while you're free to munch on any bugs you find appealing, we've discussed it at Hobby Farm Guys headquarters and we're all a hard pass on jumping down on any insect protein right now. But here are four bugs you can raise at home that your chickens will go absolutely crazy over. And we'll start with mealworms. Mealworms are high in protein and adored by chickens. They're also fairly easy to raise. They're hardy and industrious and they'll take advantage of what's available, growing faster or slower depending upon the environment in which they find themselves. And they don't take a lot of space. We're talking like a few shoebox sized containers. They don't fly, crawl out of, or escape suitable containers, and they don't smell when properly cared for. Three biggies for a lot of people prior to even thinking about having a bug farm in the house or garage. At a high level, mealworms are the larval stage of the darkling beetle. What you're doing is raising generations of beetles and feeding off much of the larva while holding a few back to produce the next generation. Set up properly, you can generate a continuous, never-ending supply of mealworms. While chickens will happily gobble up these bugs at any stage, it's the larval stage that is most convenient and beneficial. Live mealworms have a protein level of 20%, a fat value of 13% and 2% fiber. If dried, those levels jump to 53% protein, 18% fat, and 6% fiber. Next, let's talk about worms. Those in warmer areas can raise earthworms outdoors in pits. Those in cooler regions need to move indoors with red wigglers to maintain a year-round supply. Yeah, and not only do you end up with worms for your chickens, they get big and juicy for your chickens by helping you get rid of kitchen waste and turning it into magical fertilizer. Worms contain a lot of protein, between 60 to 70 percent. Earthworms also contain 6 to 11 percent fat and 5 to 21 percent carbohydrates and 2 to 3 percent vitamins and minerals. They're particularly rich in niacin and B12. And they are pretty easy to raise. All that is needed is a container to hold them, some food scraps to feed them, and some kind of bedding. 
The bedding can be shredded newspaper, composted manure, fallen leaves, or just about any organic compostable material. Add them all together and those worms will turn those food scraps into big juicy worms for your chickens and vermicompost for your garden. Next, crickets. Rich in protein and amino acids, crickets contain 65 to 69 percent protein as well as other important nutrients such as calcium, iron, and magnesium. To get started with raising crickets, all you need is a container to prevent your crickets from escaping. Yeah, something with smooth sides and a tight-fitting lid that allows ventilation will save you the hassle of trying to capture rogue escapees. A glass aquarium or rubber toad is best, as crickets will eventually eat through a cardboard box. Yeah, a 20-gallon tote can support a population of about a thousand crickets. Place the container, or better yet, containers for a non-stop supply, where they'll stay warm and somewhat humid. A consistent 85 degrees and 50% humidity is ideal. Yeah, you may want to utilize a heat lamp or other heat source to keep them warm. You'll need to provide them an area to lay their eggs as well as some hiding places like some old egg crates. Beyond that, some food and water is all it takes. And the fourth bug to raise for chickens is black soldier flies. An excellent food for chickens, black soldier fly larvae contain up to 50% crude protein and they're rich in calcium as well as many other necessary vitamins, fats, and amino acids. And unlike many other bugs, they don't carry and transfer diseases or parasites. They don't bite or sting, and they aren't attracted to food or humans, so they won't cause fly strike or otherwise annoy you. As adults, they live only about a week and they don't eat, but instead survive on fat stores from when they were growing. In fact, they don't even have functioning mouth parts. They can suck nectar and other liquids, but can't bite or chew. To reach a state where they can spend their entire adult lives, however short, without eating, these guys bulk up during the larval stage, which is when you feed them to your chickens. That's right. Black soldier fly larvae have voracious appetites and will eat pretty much any organic waste, but their favorite might just be manure. And when you know it, many hobby farms and homesteads have a ready supply of manure, thanks to the critters on the farm. They'll also break down household food waste, but avoid meat and dairy, as those items will stink. Really, all you need to do is provide them with a compost pile and a container that they can't escape from. Something as simple as a smooth-sided bucket can work. Keep the compost moist, but not wet. Warm temperatures will hasten the reproductive cycle, and cooler temperatures will slow the growth of the larva. Females lay 200 to 600 eggs, which hatch in about four days. Starting out less than a millimeter long, they reach about 25 millimeters in length in 10 to 28 days, given proper conditions. As they mature and prepare to pupate, they'll instinctively leave the compost pile. So provide a few ramps up out of the compost pile for them. And then it's simply a matter of drilling some holes at the top of the ramp for the larva to fall through. You can hang the bucket in with your chickens and allow them to gobble up the larva as they self-harvest and fall on the ground. Or you can allow them to fall into a bucket and then take them out to feed the chicken. You'll want to allow a few of them to finish maturing so they can repopulate your compost pile. Simply drop them in the dirt nearby where your chickens can't get to them and allow them to mature and hatch out as flies. Once your compost pile is established, the black soldier flies will keep laying eggs. So there are four bugs that chickens enjoy that are packed with nutrition and that are relatively simple to raise. What are your thoughts? Have you tried raising any of these? What did you learn? Share your experiences, good and bad, in the comments, and we'll all learn together. And in the interest of time, we did a pretty high flyover in terms of setting up these systems. If you'd like a more detailed video going over setting up one of these systems and the process, let us know in the comments. Great idea. Hobby Farm Guy Eric is always looking for something to do. If there's enough interest, we may get Eric to set up and operate one of these systems for a while and document it all on film to give you the in-depth info you need to start growing bugs yourself. We'll watch for votes in the comments. If you're a subscriber to the channel, your vote counts double. Yet another great reason to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed the video or learned something today, please help us out and click that like button for us. Thanks for watching. Keep on hobby farming.